Hey guys, welcome back. So I took a small break from YouTube. Um, so this one's gonna be a pretty light video. I'm just gonna add error toast. So whenever our our Redux errors are added, um, we can have a little indication of what is happening. So we're just gonna add a toast from Prime Edgy, like so. And uh, that that'll be pretty much it. So let's go back to our app. I have Angular running in the background here. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is add the Toast module to our UI module. So I don't think the auto imports are super smart with PrimeNG, so we're just going to add it manually. Toast. And that should allow us to just do tab completion, so toast module. And to use the toast module, we need to add, um, what's it called? The message service, which will be a provider, which will be its own array in the ng module thing. And let me see if I remember the path of this. So it's prime ng slash common? No. Is it component slash common? Slash message service. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's added. And and then finally we just need to add it to the the component that's rendering this page. And I'm gonna put it in the outermost component, which is the app component. We're just gonna put it up here. The selector is p-toast. And that's all we need to do to have the toast in the UI template. Now all we have to do is trigger the toast. Um, I remember that I added a error reducer. I added a little typo here. This is default is supposed to be spelled that way. So that'll fix that little issue. And then now we just need to go into our app component file. Yep. And we need to select this, the error, what is it called? The error state from the store. So error, or this dot store dot select. And from the application state, we're just gonna get state dot error and subscribe to that observable. When a new value is triggered, we're gonna uh, trigger the message service, which we need to add here through dependency injection. Message service is of type message service. And let's make sure that's coming from the right place. We're also gonna organize our Imports really quick. That looks right. And this is going to be this dot message service dot. I believe it's called add. And we're just going to do a toast of severity is going to be of error. Um, let's go look at the docs. Let's see. So. Verity, summary, and detail. So summary is going to be error message. And then the detail is going to be whatever that uh, value is. So val.error. And let's trigger an error. Uh, which should be easy because the API isn't running right now. So if we just uh, run an error, let's open up the Redux store. So a a that should just make error stuff. Now it's saying object object because it's um uh the error object actually looks a little different from what we want it to. So we'll fix that in a bit. 
But the first thing we're going to fix is it's displaying an error um, when it's removed error. So we're going to clean this up a little bit, make a separate function for it. So I'm going to call it show error, which will take in the error. And let's see, if the error is not undefined, so if it exists, then we're going to do this.messageService.add. I'm going to copy this object here. There. And this is now called error. And then in our subscribe, we're just going to call our show error passing the value. And that'll get rid of the, the remove error showing up as a toast. And now we just need to... I'm also going to do a default message of internal server error. And I believe it's in our effects that we want to change what we're passing in. So everywhere it says add error, um, we're going to do dot error so that the correct object is um, being passed in, which is, and that is what we're expecting. Um, not the best names, because everything is called error, but that should give us uh, better errors. So we should do A, A, internal server error, progress event. Um, did I miss something? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's open this up again. Dot error. Um, let's try that again. So, A, A. That's the default message. So, that should be right. Our error is, is trusted true. And if we do start up our server, um, which, let's see, um, my NestJS server should live in here, I think, code, I'll just do an ls. Oh, whoops. Okay, and we just uh, start the server, get this running, and we'll show a real error. This is running, right? Yep. All right, and we'll show a real error of sending in the wrong credentials. So we do login. We have error, error code, timestamp, message. So we actually want to get dot message. So small typo there. Token error JWT expired, which is a valid response. Um, let's do bad credentials. Invalid username and password, which is great. Name, password. And that is, it is set current user is correct. Um, in the future, when we have routes set up, after a successful login, we're going to redirect to that page. But I know it's a short video, but um, just trying to get back into the swing of things, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.